guys, welcome back to P3D, and uh, we are here at gate 173 at the International Airport at Toronto. Uh, that just still glitches and the shadow goes away. Beautiful. Uh, we're currently uh, searched by Gate Gourmet for our catering today. So, what I've already done, as you can see, I've literally, all I've done is pretty much just, uh, set the PMD setup. Instead of going to cold and dark, I set uh, to long like so, which pretty much means the plane is in cold and dark state with external power. That's it, really. And I also found out that you can enter the RS frequency into nav and radio page, but it's apparently when you put it in depart and arrive, it already does it, so it's fine. In it, ref, and so let's get this plane set up. Uh, before we do that, I might actually want to set the catering doors open, so. Doors and open the doors for them, like so. And it also actually opens the uh, baggage doors and the store here for the jetway. Overload in, there we go. Like so, right back down here, and I want to go to C Y Y Z at gate 173. Does not accept it. That's Fine. GPS position. Right, where well, should set the ADIRUs on? Hopefully that does something. GPS position can come into here. Which it already has done actually. Didn't see that. Right, route. Origin from Toronto, which is CYYZ. Off to Heathrow again, the return flight. Like so, and uh, we are Air Canada 85, not uh, 857, it's 858 now. And the runway taking off today is uh, 23. Activate and execute that one. Menu, FS actions, let's configure all the fuel, and uh, payload will be taken on board today. We will be taking aboard 52.28. Three tons of fuel today, and zero fuel weight of two nineteen point three, so seventy three percent full today. Go back to the FMC per minute uh, cost index. Yeah, wait, why am, I, why am I doing that first? Zero fuel weight can go in, and final reserve of three point one. I do not want to request the per minute. Cruising altitude today at 350 and cost index of 85. Execute, close the doors now, catering, get the passengers and everything else boarded on. Set us down here to 2000 would be nice. And arm the doors. Five minutes till they have aligned. See up there. Right back down to thrust limit. It's a long one, runway 23 of, um, where is it? Runway 23, it is 3,389 meters. So, 61 meters wide, wow. It's quite a long taxi down. Uh, pretty much going past all the terminals today down to 23. And we are going to do DRA 1 with a seam temperature of 34 the degrees. 95.5% in N1, CG can go in, 26% and flaps 15. V1, V speeds will come in later and our takeoff weight today of 271. That's it. Could probably set in all these things. So the wind today at the runway, if I go to conditions on active sky, Oh, okay, the board passengers being boarded on now. So, wind is 240 slash 7. I don't believe there's a slope on the runway 23. So, you slope 0, and it's dry, and it is 14 degrees.
I think that's what that means. <laughs> uh, probably. Not sure. Uh, reference is plus 24 degrees. Okay. 14 degrees, sorry. Alright. Back to index and take off page. Catering has gone. And baggage will be arriving soon. They might be coming from the left or the right, I'm not sure. Can get the viewing camera all the way out. Looking at the beautiful Fly Tampa Toronto. And I see the baggage. There is the baggage. Just there. I think this is Rex texture, not direct. I'm not sure. But whenever you look at the sun, you get like an orange flare. It could be just PTA. Because I've only, I've only just found out that that does that. So, Air Canada, triple seven three hundred ER. Off to Heathrow today. Got the pilots in there. Beautiful. Hello. Right, there's nothing else we need to do in the moment. So, seatbelt signs can come on. Emergency lights can be armed. Hello. That's it. For now. Set the parking brake, probably. Right, I'll be back once the baggage has uh, literally finished loading on. And hopefully the IRSs have aligned. Goodbye. Right, we're back. And the back, the after cargo has just finished loading on. You see it's empty there. And this is the last one coming on, on on the forward cargo. So let's go down to the cargo forward and, no, and close both. Oh, no, not that one. Whoopsies. Uh, close the aft cargo door. Passengers hopefully won't be too long till they boarded. You can see like the oil, I'm not sure. This plane's been flying for quite a while. Might need a new repaint soon. The dirty. Oh, the bulk cargo door is open, which is not needed. That one can now go. Come back here. There you go, it's closed. This guy's just sitting here doing absolutely nothing. Great. FMC Technologies, Air Canada, Commander. Oh. Let's go and check out this. Just finishing off this part. It's a cargo. And, uh, we can probably shut the door now. If that goes in. And once this guy starts moving down and get out of the way of this cargo door, that'd be nice. Looks like this part is more high quality than this part of the door. That's weird. This kind of stands out a bit. So, descending down there. Did you say descending? I'm not sure. Right, close that door. And we can now start the APU. So what we're going to do is literally go to start and boom, it starts up. That is crazy, isn't it? Yes, it's really crazy. The IRSs have aligned in, well, why does it say zero? Enter internal position. That's okay for me. I think that's just didn't load in. There we go. Just going to check if things are all the same. Back into Perth, innit? Perth. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's all the same. Beautiful. So, V2 of 163. And now, because IRS is aligned, we can now set in our departure. Uh, so, we're going to go off runway 23 with a Verdo 5. That's a lot of uh, SIDs out of that. And transitioning. Hopefully, doesn't doesn't really say anything here on my flight plan. But so that's a bit annoying. That's really annoying. I'm just gonna take a look at it. Uh, I'm just gonna go with EPSAC because that's the middle like one. So execute that one. Takeoff speeds have been deleted, but they'll probably be the exactly the same. Like they are. We go legs page in this. And what we can do between Epsat and Lorca. Okay then. 
That's how you wanted to do it for me. It's, it's Lorca indeed then. Alright then. It doesn't actually have it on the flight plan. Hmm. It's very, very weird. Right, takeoff speeds have been deleted. Like, like I said, they're pretty much the same as last time. Let's go back to the uh, flight plan map and just check if things are perfect. Take some vectors off to Saver. I don't think so. Because uh, we're offline, I don't think we're going to be doing that. So, Verlo, let's just zoom out a bit. And uh, that's good. Alright, that's a uh, map. And let's come down to 40. Terrain, data, to VORs can come on. Uh, VORs, I had to quickly do that on 10 and data and the weather on this side and zooming all the way. Like so, run, runway heading of 23 is indeed 237. Don't know why it's called 23, but it should be 24. It should be a 24 center. Right, sorry. And I'll set this up to 350. Should we bring this page back down? 350. Up here, like so. Beautiful. And passengers are still boarding, which is crazy. Don't know why. It's taking a while. Tell the beep. I'm assuming AP is on. It's the AP running, so disconnect the primary power. And ground connections and remove the wheel trucks. And nothing turned off, which is good. And packs can come to auto. Uh, fuel pumps, because we're about to go, turn the beacon light on, and one thing I always forget to do in this aircraft, oxygen and flight instruments are good now, I did the oxygen while I was waiting for the baggage, uh, so flight deck door is closed and locked, and the CP is checked. Alright, passengers have now been boarded, okay, thank you very much, right, let's go and close that, uh, not close the door and get rid of the jetway, and arm the door once it's ready. Right, let's finish off this. Take our speeds V1 of 150, VR of 155, and a V2 of 163. CDP flight is completed. Trim is set and taxi briefing. We're actually going to push back to then Alpha. After you, and then, ta yeah, taxi down Alpha, then hotel, and then we're at the runway. 23. Beautiful. Checked. And normal, that's before taxi, so we're close to push back. Hopefully from GSX. Uh, we're not going nose left. Do, no, I do not want to start engines before. That'd be outrageous. Yep. Well, we're good up there. Got hydraulics and engine shut down. Got T gas off, which is fine. It can go to standby, which it is. Yep, we test that now. And the brake source is fine. Good, ready for pushback, lovely. Let's, we'll be on our way soon. Yeah, probably go to static camera when we get the walking animation here. Uh, we can like, probably walk with the... Uh, walk with the... Uh, what's it called? Pushback, that's it. I, I, really, I really like uh, how Chase Plane have em implemented this. How they uh, you can just see the little once you hit the ground the little bounce of the steps and then what person will do let's get back into the cockpit sorry stop playing around yeah we should stop playing around with the uh, camera and and actually start flying so it's going to start the timer and start the engines back to engine page so Right elect and left elect. Wait for the fault lights to go off. Like so, and bang these on and start engine number two. See it starts spooling up, that means we can put the fuel in. That jetway. That shadow of the Turkish Airlines aircraft. Pretty crazy. 
That's a bit weird, to be honest. Uh, that's fine. That's great. Look at that guy. He looks really tall with his shadow. <laughs> right. I think we're just going to wait for engine number two to start up. And once that starts, which just flicks back, means we can uh, go and set this to start on the engine number one, or left engine. Depends on what you want to call it. Hopefully GSX do a good pushback. Right, engine number one. Uh, you can see it's spooling up there. So, boom. Bring the feel for that engine. GSX looks like it looks like it's doing a good job, actually. Proud of GSX. It's pushing us all the way back now. There is no one-way system, so I might text down Bravo to be honest, as Alpha might be a tax away for you to come in to the terminal. So we're actually we're going to text down Bravo and then hotel. Right, the gas is off. It doesn't stand by though, isn't it? Yes. Okay, now GSX is over, like, doing it. It is crazy right now. I just realized it. Wait, yep. <laughs> so realize it's just done something really stupid. Engines have fully started up. Nice, we're just waiting for the bees and the packs to get ready. And uh, we can probably go to the flight control check. Just making sure the. Uh, don't worry. So full left. All right, all the way down and all the way up, like so. On the left, well, we can't do that yet. Uh, is that a button where I can hit to disconnect it with the wheel? No, okay, that's going to do that part of the flight control check once we stop the pushback. Hopefully, I'm just going to say now. And uh, obviously GSX is going to do this to me. For some reason it does that sometimes. When you uh, want to stop there. We tell GSX to stop early. It's a bit, it's a bit weird. Right. Right to the left. Oh, right, sorry. Right to the left. And that's checked. That's great. So, a trim of 5.25 today. Like so. Got another aircraft down there. Where's that off to? This is a WestJet 737. That's a tiny 737. That's like a 600 or something. Okay, nice, good. Uh, right, checklist. Anti ice not needed. Recall is checked, and T gas is the only thing. Auto brake. RTO, flight controls are checked, random equipment are not yet clear. Waiting for this truck to get out of the way. Hopefully it won't be too long. Uh, probably turn off the AP now. Uh, packs and bleeds are all good. Right. Ground equipment is clear. That's before takeoff checklist. Flaps 1, flaps 5, flaps 15. Like so. Bring a bit of power. And uh, let's get on our way. Hopefully that West Jet is not heading towards us. Good, it is going the correct way. What we can do on the FMC, actually, is bring it up here so we know where we're taxiing. If we go to the legs page, we can go to route data and request the wind for the flight today. It will should come in soon. There we go. Load that in and execute when that's done. Beautiful. And transitioning at 1800 feet in the US and Canada. 
So yeah, that's fine. Descent forecast is ready, but we're not going to be doing that. Back to their wrath. Goodbye. Right, we're going to go into Brother. Uh, no, this is not Bravo, is it? This is Alpha. Maybe that might be. Looks like the West Jet is being fine. I'm just going to tax down here for now. If I actually go to out top down on the. Here, yeah, you can actually tell this is Alpha and that's Bravo. But it looks like the West Jet is taxing down Alpha, so. Once again, I'm going to change my mind on the taxi route and uh, <laughs> go down Alpha. Because that is what the AI is doing. But it looks like, it looks like uh, you can just go and taxi down here for the gate. Right. Like normal, I'm going to go and probably turn on the lights, which would be good. And then go here. Right. I'm going to see you once I'm at runway 23. That won't be too long of taxi. And goodbye. Welcome back, and you can see the West Jet is currently uh, on runway 23. Uh, we're pretty much going to wait behind it. Well, it's already probably going there by now, so it's pretty much going to wait until it's clear. And uh, we'll be on our way. So it's just lining up right now. Let's get back in the cockpit. Uh, we have been having taxiing about uh, taxi like two, three minutes. It's not that long. We've been testing pretty fast though. There it goes. Toga. Let's swing around this corner. Flight directors can come on. Click out of Vina, but when you hit Toga, it's not going to do anything. You see, Toga is more at the moment needed. Well, active. Alright. It's going to come on the, the hotel hold short. Instead of Quebec. Is it Quebec? I think so. So, landing lights can come on. Strobe lights can come on. Uh, Passion signs are all on. No smoking's good. And that's looking amazing. Let's head on straight onto the runway. And uh, set the TCAS to TAI. Here we are. Runway 23. Let's swing this right round. And that West Jet is out of the way. Let's go. So, about 50% and 1. Let me set the timer. Get ready for that to stabilize. That's looking good. Toga. Looking for N1 of 95.2. Uh, and the speed is live. And there's 80 knots. Take a quick. Why has the power just gone down? I just hit my throttle. Whoopsies. That that never happened. <laughs> I said take a lesson again. Alright, see hey. I will not hit my fossil once again. Right. Okay, we have V1. Rotate. Yeah, remember up to like five degrees, wait for you to be clear of the runway. And uh, slowly bring it up. So you don't get tail strike. We have the positive climb, so we can go gear up. Uh, bring the nose up a bit high, uh, G2, and a bit to the left now already. Let's just activate LNAV and VNAV. Oh, 
already at 1,800 feet. Wow. Autopilot can come on. I'm terrible at flying. <laughs> uh, oh, I love Alien. Shadows. That's Canada. Oh, no. Toronto. Pearson. International Airport over there as well. The black textures, that needs to be loaded in. Not gonna look at that, don't worry. Right, back to the legs page on this. Uh, bring out the flats to five. And one. And actually, we're past 200 knots, we're gonna go all the way up. Auto brake is disarmed to off. TR is on, that's fine. It's looking good. Bring this up to about 80 again, and this one can go up again. Just to zoom out a bit for the rest of the flight. Right, see. Didn't use any vectors, so we're pretty much going direct to uh, Saveur, it looks like. And uh, climbing pretty fast at 3,000 feet per minute. That's crazy. Well, I hope you enjoyed the takeoff. Uh, it's a bit silly of me I accidentally hitting my throttle and bringing that down, bringing the auto throttle off, actually. So, whoopsies. But hey, we got an, oh, we went up in the end. I should have uh, did a rejected takeoff because that happened. But it wasn't anything bad that actually actually happened to the aircraft. So that. Uh, probably be fine. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the takeoff today. I will see you in the descent into the cinematics. And goodbye.
back into the descent, down into Heathrow from Toronto, kind of flight, uh, kind of uh, 858. This is currently just about, it's on the uh, sunrise at the moment. You can see over here, just in England, the uh, sun is rising, and uh, we've got some lovely city lights as well from the roads. FMC message, uh, drag is required. That is true. Let's, let's go to route data and we'll request some wins for the VNAV to get ready. Uh, and we shall set the transition altitude of 6,000 feet as well. Once the wind has been loaded in, that it will be. I might not do any more because the uh, bed deck was the last one. Oh, no, it does. So, VNAV forecast. Transition level at 6,000 feet. Purge, and uh, we also request it again. Uh, actually, we can release the speed brakes. Whoopsies. Uh, I was pretty much waiting for the descent forecast to load in. There we go, and we can load that in. I don't think there's no need to execute, so I'm just going to click anyway, just to make sure. Anyway, that's firsty. Uh, that note. Uh, yes, that's true. And that will be 142 knots. Just bang that in there, and bang that in here. Uh, let's wait for this speeds to realign. I can understand itself, that is wrong. And like so, invalid entry, that's fine. Execute that. And it's reconfigured itself. Beautiful. Nice. I think actually. What you meant to do is set this the the fight on the final to one forty two. And it should start slowing down automatically. Beautiful, that is perfect. And it's passing nearly 14,000 feet. Uh, we should have turned on some stuff as we are on the way down. That looks a lot better now. Put the Lego light on. And the, uh, the leaf, the maple leaf for Canada. Beautiful. Yeah, dynamic lighting is amazing now. Actually makes textures look really good. But what I think what's happened here, if we turn on some floods. Ooh, they might have fixed it. The textures aren't looking too bad. Hmm. You can see our descent coming in here now. Uh, so what I want to do is probably do some altitudes. But first Create and bio reference. So, Create at Heathrow today is 1014. So, we're going to put that in over the top there. And now we've got off charts. It's not being very nice to me, so I can't actually. There we go. So, <laughs> fixed it. Right, we're doing a Cat 1 with lights, which mean 280 is the minimum. Uh, that is not so what I want to be doing. Uh, 280 on this side. Like so, let's bring it down. 250, good damn it. 280. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, I should see Heath on the left of us uh, soon. And around about like here. And is that it? No, it's not it. That could be Gatwick. I don't think so, though. That indeed is uh, EGLF Farnborough. That is okay. Maybe passing towards our. And there's another airport down there, which that one is Blackbush. Got a lighthouse for some random reason. Is that a lighthouse? I don't think so. I think it's just a. 
don't think there'll be a lighthouse near here. It should be an Oka on it. It says 6,000 feet. So. I'm gonna, oh no, it says 7,000, sorry. It does. 6,000 for the next waypoint, which is this one. Uh, it's not above, it is at. So. So I'm gonna set that in there. And uh, let all the altitudes realign itself. Nice. Right. Is that 3,000? Is that correct? 2,500? Yes, that is correct. Beautiful. Our descent profile is on check. Right, it's about to pass 10,000 feet, so lights can come on. No, not taxi light. Nice. Dynamic lighting. Beautiful. Oh, God. Can we see a start seeing the sun yet? No. Sun's just about to peek through. Not yet, though. Be flying for five hours and fifty minutes. This is such a shorter flight than a than, a, than coming to uh, Canada from Heathrow. About two hours, two hours quicker, something like that. So it's crazy. Different route. Right. Speed's coming down now. Heathrow Airport just loaded in, so we might be able to see it. From that lag. There it is. That's Heathrow. Right, so we are just now uh, releasing speed brakes. And this is a checklist. I think I think we've done all this, so auto brake. One. And then later is check to be your minimums done. Approach briefing is good. And the approach is out So well that is set, so we can search them all. And that'll be the landing checklist. Yeah, it's, it's not a lot of clouds in England today, but there's quite a lot of them scattered around. Just checking my charts. Uh, so 2,500 is the correct altitude for descent, and the uh, go around is 3,000, so I'm just going to check that's in there. Up to 3,000, yeah. And uh, that's in there as well. Let's set it down to 2,500 for the final. Alright. We're landing on 27 left. I don't know if it said that, but <laughs> there we go. I said it now. Alright. Going back to page one. It's finishing off some last minute checks on the arrival. So the localizer should be armed around about not arms. Uh ILS should be found. So what we can do, we go to Radnav, uh which is here. You see it's already put the ILS in, but I can go and check that's correct. So what yeah that is that's good. That is what that's correct. Let's check the runner headings correct there. Um, I run a heading, but the OBS that. Yep, two seventy one. Perfect. That's correct. That is correct. Beautiful. So it automatically puts it in. I'm not sure if you can uh, undo that in the menu. So as we descend, I'm just going to check it out. So we're probably in the options and simulate uh, simulation. Throttle, some throttle. Service base, to see what kind of thing. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I don't think there's going to be in here. Uh, yeah. Floods and daylight. You can change the lights to default level. That's cool. Yeah, that's fine. Right, come on, bring the nose down, aircraft. I'm gonna get down to that 6,000 feet now. 
Yeah, pretty pretty much a steep descent now. So bring up the speed brakes. And I think flats five is a two forty five speed limit, so which I think we're good at. Obviously part we passed Og, so we're now on the final approach. Pretty much down to Heathrow. So I'm gonna set flats one. As you probably heard that. I'm not sure. Uh, speed brakes are up flats one, so we are slowing down. That's a 200, 200 and a bit knots. We've got London lights here. It's quite nice. Oh, keep clipping through some stuff. What is this building? Ah, it's a very blue building. So it is. <laughs> wow. Right. So it's passing 6,000 feet now. Alright, speed rakes are ascended, so we can quite get rid of them. And uh, we're getting the 10 nautical mile range on the MD now. Lights are on. Let's do the final checks now. So lights are on. Uh, that's good. Passage signs are on. Uh, we've got no warnings, which is good. And pretty much all that to do is wow, look at that sunrise and the lighting. Oh, we can start seeing the sun now. Nice. Only five o'clock Zulu time, so we ran out at six in the morning uh, due to uh, like an hour ahead at England at the moment due to the seasons. Okay, right. That's flats five. And uh, this is here London in the background. Forget his view. Got a bit of the sunrise as well, and the crazy blue buildings. Come back. You got the checklist now. So, we're going to arm the speed brakes, like so. And when we're in the finals, the gear will come down. Cabin R ready, that's good. Actually, we will bring out the speed brakes because we are way too fast. Is it really bring that speed down? We'll bring it down to like one. So, actually, 180 does sound right. Yeah, so flats 5 debug speed, 182. That's fine. Yeah, we've got a bit of the localizer coming in now, so we probably are on that. Yeah, the localizer is now armed, and the uh, glass will come in soon. Yes, okay. We now have flats 15. The localizer is armed and active. Let's just reset the heading. Two seven two. Right. Probably going flaps twenty now. And, uh, Get rid of the speed brake now, I don't think we need it that much. And uh, get back to armed. And we have the runway in sight. Maybe a quick, not fast ascent, but it's only kind of a quick one. So we need to get down. In the glide slope normally. Uh, so, right, we'll probably activate the approach now. So we're pretty much aligned with the runway. So once you hit the glide slope, it'll kick in. Right, so we're active on the vertical, not vertical, horizontal glide slope. Oh, look at that, sorry. Look at those clouds, that is beautiful. Sorry. <laughs> Right. 
Okay. Approach is active, so shouldn't really be holding short of that. It's been up to 3,000 now for the go around. And then once we hit the glass, like, we'll be going down again. Like, like so. Soon come pink. Don't know why the auto thought has gone mad, but it has gone mad. Let's bring this down to a reference speed there. Right. Gear is down. Well, not is down, it's going down. Gear down. And we're on final. We're looking good on the ILS. 2,000 feet above. Alright, there's flats 25, then there's flats 30. And that landing checklist will be done soon. Completed. So we can tick that off once we've hit the flats 30. Then we can get rid of the autopilot and land this plane. There we go. It's checked. Autopilot is disconnected. Normally do it down here. And I think you hold it down. No auto land, as you can see it says. So we're landing it by ourselves. One forty-two of the VR speed. See anything in those to the right of that? The wind is in our favour today, and not much of a crosswind, but it is strong. Too strong, man. Eh? Get his trim set up. Trying to do a visual and uh, trying to keep on the glide slope as well. Because not all sceneries go well with the aircraft. What a lovely Heathrow lit up over there. Beautiful. It's just temporary Heathrow for now. Until Aerosoft released the uh, extended version, which is going to be amazing. I've right, been those to the left and a bit to the okay, center it now. And just keep on the glass slope. Right, also throttle is gone. Let's cancel that. Continue. One hundred. Fifty. Thirty. Idle. There we go. Touchdown. Slowly bring the nose down. Idle with us. Sorry, a bit quiet there. Just trying to really concentrate. And we're down. Right, we're slowing down. Which is good. Autopilot disconnect. Disconnect. Let's go back up the bar. Right, we are down. Versus can come back in. And the auto brake can come off. Right. What is this part? This might be November 6th. Which I think it is. Right, sorry about that. A taxi light can come on. And the lang lights can now come off. Logo light can stay on. Beacon, now everything's good. Strobe can come off now as we ex 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 Ooh, exited the runway. And also sort of arm can come back on. Flight directors can come off. Few hours off. Right, let's slow this plane down. Let's go to our gate. 
Terminal 3. Or 2, actually. I should say. Right. Okay, taxiing down Alpha. For now. Well, I've pretty much found the gate. I forgot. So. The audio is going to be a bit messed up for now. We have it back soon. Right, the gate is 246. And like so. And I do not want to warp. There we go. And uh, we. D N A T A. There's a lag as GSX has loaded anything. Right, those spoilers have gone and we can bring out the flaps. Oh, that was an alright landing, I have to say. Right, flaps are coming up now. So, the gate 246. It's not too far. It's in Terminal 2B. This is pretty much on the opposite uh, place where we uh, were before. So now we're going to come down and taxi in 2B. Down here now. Uh, we'll probably stop the timer. That's our flight time. Let me just take a look at this sign. Link 35. And swing it around again. Lots of swinging around today. Yes, yeah, that's Pier 7 right there. And uh, of Terminal 3. So we're off to Terminal 2B. So it's not too long with taxis, it's just down here. So uh, keep a steady power on the uh, GE90s, hopefully not too much, because uh, they can go crazy. AP can start up now. And uh, probably wing light as we're down on the ground. If I can find the... Click, click, yeah, there we go. click the right spot there. There we go, that's the Pier 6 there. Keep in the centre line. What does the R stand for on that bit there? It's pretty much going to keep taxing down Bravo until we hit the gate. That's 305. And was it 205? 305, yes. Now, the next one should be 303. Then 301. Like so, there it is down there. Anything you need to do to shut down the aircraft? For now. Doesn't seem like we'll probably get a menu page on these now. And down here. There's no need for that. Actually, there is something we need to do. Turn off the transponder and put it down to standby. Good idea. Uh, so this is Terminal 2A on the left right now. And so it's not far from where we're taxiing to Bravo down to Lima. So Rallos is coming up, uh, no, Kilo, sorry, it's coming up, and, uh, so, next one's, uh, Lima. Right. So, this should be Kilo here, on the left here. And, uh, that's where we departed last time. And, uh, we're just pretty much going pretty much opposite it. Not quite opposite, but near opposite. We've started off, I think, 236. Opposite that is 243, and we're coming to 246. So, two gases off, that's fine. APU is running, that's good. It's good to know. 
taxiing at a solid rate at 10 knots, which is uh, the normal taxi speed you should be doing it at. Those textures are terrible, let me just quickly do that. Yeah, this is what speed you should be taxiing at normally. But I like the taxi fast, it's the, uh, the Hugo taxi. HSBC. And there's the Locky hold short. Because uh, this actually does hold short, off, hold short of 27 left. If it does get this busy, so this is pretty much going to go down here left, down to Lima. And 246, so we should see our GSX stuff over here. Should be. There it is. I can see that there. Right, let's start on our turn. Well, big turn. Or just a turn. Whatever you want to call it. And. Yeah, we've got a bit of sun coming in now. I want to turn us off. I probably didn't need them on the tax. No, we didn't need it. It was, it was alright. I could see. This is what I would love PMDG to fix. I'm not sure if I should get a fix for it, but I guess it's like an, ex um, an external model for the shadows when you're inside the cockpit. That would be lovely. So this is 262, 242, sorry. And uh, 246 will be coming up soon now. That's 243. And 244 is next. And 246, here it is. Here's our gate. And, uh, slow it down a bit. Oh, well, not too much though. <laughs> That'd be bad. There's 246 left. If you're a smaller aircraft, I think that's where you park. And 246 right as well. But we're parking on 246, just normal 246 today. And taxi light can come off. I think GSX wanted me to uh, come here. As I can see it right there. Just behind the truck there. We're gonna pretty much go into the taxi light. Ta uh, taxi light? What am I never? Ta uh, jetway. Got the shadow in the building there. Probably take a look down here. There we go. We are parked. Don't listen to GSX, they're terrible. Engines can be shut off now. FS actions, doors, open this up. And request deboarding. And the beacon light can now come off. I'm going to operate the jetway. Well, do you control J? I don't think it does anything. Ah, there is one. They're pretty much going to go to the same place, so let's get rid of that. Well, I'm deboarding passages now. I hope you enjoyed the flight today. Uh, in uh, Air Canada 858. See, this is Heathrow at the moment. I don't understand. It keeps saying it needs to be that. So, yeah, it's a bit annoying. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the flight today. Air Canada 858 uh, from Toronto to Heathrow. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.